Well, Africa is coming to town. Now, the Facelist Awards will take place in New York City on July the 11th. The awards are organized by Face to Face Africa to honor pioneers and trailblazers in uh, special, rather several fields, including business, leadership, sports, entertainment, technology, health, and the nonprofit sector, also known as the Pan African Weekend. The event is possibly one of the most prestigious annual gatherings of people of African heritage in the United States. This year's honorees include actor Boris Kodjo and Amadou Galofal, NBA Vice President and Managing Director for Africa. Now to tell us more about the awards, Sandra Apier, Vice President of Operations at Face to Face, joins us live by Skype from New York. Miss Apier, welcome to Africa 54. Hi, thank you so much for having me on the show. Yes, now... Thank you. You're welcome. And we know you have such a big weekend uh, come the 11th. But the Face List Awards is like the climax of the, 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 the event. Tell us what else is happening on that Pan-African weekend. Sure. So the Pan-African Weekend is, an, is, is really an action-packed three-day event uh, that we, we seek to highlight and, and celebrate the ideas and success stories uh, that are emerging within the Pan-African community each year. Um, so we have a youth-oriented uh, program on Friday, which we host in collaboration with the uh, African Union um, at the UN. Um, and so about five really powerful young people under the age of 30 will um, give presentations and talk about the organizations. These are just outstanding young people in tech, technology, innovation, and social entrepreneurship. So we are giving them the platform to talk about their work and their vision for Africa, uh, because we really believe that the youth, you know, are the future, and we, we want to be able to give them the platform to share the ideas and also to connect with the pioneers whom we're also celebrating on Saturday. So that's Friday, and we have a few social events as well. Friday mm -hmm. evening, we have a networking mixer, and then um, Saturday after the awards, we have an after party, and then we have a well, closing jazz that's... brunch. So pretty packed. <laughs> Sounds exciting. Now, people want to know, is this just a privilege of those who live in New York and the surrounding towns or are you bringing people from all over the United States? Absolutely. We're bringing people from all over the United States and all over Africa and, and really around the world. Um, some of our honorees actually, you know, live in Africa. Mario Galafo, you mentioned, he's coming from South Africa. Uh, we also have quite a few companies and organizations who are being represented and they'll be flying in from around uh, the continent as well. Um, so, yeah, everyone is welcome. You know, we have people coming from Atlanta, from D.C., from Texas. So mm -hmm. it's a uh, it's, it's really going to be a beautiful occasion. I might have missed something here, but how does somebody get nominated? Because I noticed I'm not in the list. <laughs> it's coming. It's coming. I promise. <laughs> um, basically, we have a board of advisors. So our, our advisory board uh, committee of advisors are charged with the responsibility of selecting the honorees. So we go through, it's, it's really a, a two-month uh, period where we go through nominations and, and our review board goes through the, uh, the list of potential nom nominees. And at the end, we select, well, this year we came up with seven uh, lists of just incredible trailblazers mm. who paved the way, you know, um, you know, for you, for young people. And we're so proud to tell their stories um, on Saturday. Hey, very, very briefly, does uh, this award or this awards, do they come with uh, like some monetary attachment to them? Uh, I wish, <laughs> but no, not yet. Yeah. Uh, we're not there yet. <laughs> what, what we are giving them is, you know, we believe, we at Face to Face Africa believe that um, it's it's crucial for Africans to to celebrate our success stories and to tell our own stories. And, you know, we're committed to that. And so, you know, it's part of the bigger mi mission of, of just telling our stories. I mean, you would probably never know that Fumbi Chima, oh. who's the chief information Thank officer, yeah. she, she's one of the leaders in technology now, wow. and she's from Nigeria. That so is the type of stories we want to highlight. That is great. That's worth more than money. Uh, yes. Thank exactly. you very much, Sandra. Thank you. Well, Sandra Apia is Vice President of Operations at Face to Face. She joined us live by Skype from New York.